It is estimated that 30% of patients with diabetes mellitus will face a skin problem at some point in their disease journey. Several skin disorders, particularly those due to infections such as candida and impetigo, are more common in diabetic patients. Psoriasis, a common scaly disease, also poses twice the risk to patients with type 2 diabetes as compared to non-diabetics. Now, let's touch on some of the skin conditions associated with diabetes mellitus. One of the most common skin problems found in patients with diabetes mellitus is diabetic dermopathy. It's a skin condition characterized by light brown or reddish, oval or round slightly indented scaly patches, most often appearing on the shins. They resemble solar lentigenes and are sometimes referred to as shin spots and pigmented pretibial patches. The precise reason behind diabetic dermopathy isn't fully understood. However, it's potentially linked to diabetic neuropathic and vascular complications. This theory is backed by studies which revealed that this condition appears frequently in diabetic patients who also suffer from retinopathy, neuropathy, and nephropathy. Usually, diabetic dermopathy surfaces in older patients or those who've lived with diabetes for a considerable period, say about 10 to 20 years. A close correlation has been observed between diabetic dermopathy and higher levels of glycosylated hemoglobin, which is a sign of poorly controlled blood glucose levels. Considering that lesions often appear over bony parts of the body, like the shins, it's hypothesized that diabetic dermopathy might be a response to injury or trauma in these areas. Research has shown that in diabetic patients, shin spots can emerge in response to trauma from heat, cold, or blunt objects. Now, how can you recognize diabetic dermopathy? The lesions frequently appear on the shins, but they can also occur on the front of the thighs, forearm, side of the foot, scalp, and trunk. They are round or oval-shaped, of a reddish-brown color, and initially scaly before they flatten out and become indented. If you notice four or more lesions, it's almost always indicative of diabetes. Therefore, anyone who presents with shin spots yet isn't diagnosed with diabetes should consider further investigation to rule out early diabetes. As for the treatment, diabetic dermopathy lesions or shin spots are harmless and typically don't require any treatment. They tend to disappear after a few years, particularly with improved blood glucose control. But there are other skin conditions that can occur in diabetes, like diabetic bullae and diabetic stiff skin. Diabetic bullae, also known as Bullosis diabeticorum, are blister-like lesions that spontaneously occur on the feet and hands of diabetic patients. They're more prevalent in men and in those who have long-standing diabetes or multiple diabetic complications, particularly neuropathy. Another condition is diabetic stiff skin, also known as diabetic cheroarthropathy or digital sclerosis. This results in restricted mobility of the joints of their hands in stiff, waxy, thickened, and yellowed skin. This is thought to be due to the reaction of glucose with proteins in the skin and increased glycation end products. One of the most prevalent skin conditions linked to diabetes is foot ulcers. These are open sores that don't heal or keep returning, often due to poor blood circulation and nerve damage in the feet. They can be painful and require immediate medical attention to prevent infections or even amputation. Necrobiosis lipoidica is another condition often seen in diabetics. It manifests as yellow waxy plaques on the shin, often with a purple border. Though it's not painful, it can be a cause of concern due to its appearance. Diabetics with renal failure may experience reactive perforating collagenosis and curl disease, causing protruding nodules or lesions on the skin, which can be uncomfortable and may result in scarring. Sclerodema, a rare complication of type 2 diabetes, causes skin thickening, usually on the neck and upper back. It can be quite bothersome as it limits mobility and can be cosmetically displeasing. Additionally, disseminated granuloma annulara and eruptive xanthoma present their own challenges for diabetics, affecting the skin in different ways. Xanthalasma, vitiligo, acanthosis, nigricans, pruritus and cutaneous dysesthesia are all skin conditions associated with diabetes, each with its own unique symptoms and effects on the skin. Bacterial skin infections, including sty, boil, abscess, paronychia, and cellulitis, are also common among diabetics. And let's not forget fungal infections, particularly Candida albicans, which can cause a variety of skin problems. To summarize, diabetes can lead to a wide range of skin conditions, from foot ulcers and necrobiosis lipoidica to bacterial and fungal skin infections. 
It's crucial to manage diabetes effectively and maintain good skin care to prevent these conditions. And remember, if you notice any changes in your skin, don't hesitate to seek medical attention. Your skin is a window to your overall health, and it deserves as much care and attention as any other part of your body.